So we've been talking about how to get MIDI data out of LightKey to control a program like ProPresenter or Media Master or something like that. And um, so far we've been living on the same computer, on the same Mac. Uh, but today I wanted to show you how to set up a MIDI bus uh, over the network that will allow you to pipe, pipe MIDI from one computer to the next. So if the, your lighting and your media computer is not the same thing, you can still set up this automation to work. And this works uh, with any program that you need to send MIDI. This will work with Ableton, it'll work with anything. And I believe even the light key tutorials may go over this a little bit, um, but it, I found it, I think it, it would be important to cover. I use this extensively uh, to really automate all of our production computers, all of our all of our things. I, I, made, I automate ProPresenter, light key, and Ableton uh, on three separate computers using this technique. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go, wanna go up to Spotlight, um, little little uh, magnifying glass up there and type in MIDI and that's gonna bring up our audio MIDI setup now this this window may not come up it may just be your uh, audio hardware window and if so you want to come up to window click on that and hit show MIDI studio uh, or hit command 2 because you know I love my keyboard shortcuts um, now there's two aspects that I want to talk about here. Uh, what Bohm MIDI translator uses is something called the IAC driver. That's this guy right here. So if I click this, I can set up MIDI buses that, um, port MIDI from program to program on the same computer. That's what these do. And I have one set up for each of the programs that I use for that. Um, they're really handy, but that's still living on the same computer. If we want to go over the network to a different computer, we're going to hit this right here. Uh, this is our MIDI network setup, and if there's nothing here, we want to hit plus up here and add a session. And again, we can name that session whatever the heck we want, but just make sure that it is clicked and enabled. And so what will happen here is any other program, any other computers I have uh, set up on the network will pop up right here. This includes things like iPhones and iPads too, and since I am on one computer screen recording, I'm going to pull up my, uh, my iPhone and we'll see it pop into the directory in just a second. Uh, so let me turn on the Wi-Fi here. And as soon as I do that and open up a MIDI app, just open up MIDI Wrench here, you will see it pop up in the directory. And there it is. That's my iPhone. So your other computer would, would live right here as long as it's connected to the same network and ready to receive MIDI. It's going to pop up right here. Uh, a couple things we need to do before we connect to it. First, I need to say who may connect to me. I need to make sure that says anyone. I think it defaults to only in my directory. We need to make sure that says anyone. And our live routings. This is basically saying, okay, we can take any of our buses and send them out to the network. Or we can take MIDI data from the network and send it back to any of our buses. I like to go ahead and set it up so that this says network session one goes out to the network. Now we don't want to do this on both sides because we can end up creating a MIDI loop and then it just locks your system up. So I only do this on the sending side. Send my network session one to, to this. Um, on the other side, on the receiving side, I leave all of this blank. All right, and uh, that's how we do it. So network session one out to the network. And once that's set up, I can go ahead and click my computer or phone, whatever. I can hit connect. And this means it's connected participants. So anytime we um, share MIDI data, it's going to, it'll give me my latency statistics here, but it'll uh, show me that I'm connected. So that's about it. Now we just need to route uh, the MIDI data out of Bohm. So we're still gonna send this into Bohm MIDI translator, right? Let me pull up Bohm again, my trial. <laughs> there we go. So now uh, when I go and set up my, um, translators here, when I go to send them out, I'm not gonna be sending it to the Bohm MIDI virtual out anymore. I'm gonna be sending it to network session one. Look at that. And it works just the same way. I'm just sending it to a different place. So I'm sending out to, out to network session one, which sends it over the network to my receiving computer, to my computer that has ProPresenter. So then I need to go to that computer, go to my preferences, uh, and under my MIDI setup here, I need to select my sources as network session one. And that's gonna be listening for MIDI on the network. And it's really that simple. I'm gonna hit connect and now we have MIDI being translated from one computer to the next. Um, so it, it works very similar to the IAC buses, but we're just we're talking over a network instead. A couple things to keep in mind with this. 
Uh, don't set this up until you are ready to go and send. And here's the reason. If I am connected to a computer over the network um, and that computer gets dis and it gets disconnected from the network while I'm still a participant in the MIDI session, it's going to lock up all my MIDI communications. And that's not a good thing, right? So you want to make sure you don't link these things until it's showtime and don't disconnect them from the network until you first disconnect them here. Uh, it didn't always do this. I used to be able to like lock my phone while it was connected and it wouldn't freeze my computer up or anything. But something that Mac has done recently um, where if my iPhone is connected and then I lock my iPhone and it disconnects, uh, it just gets cut off it'll actually lock up all the MIDI stuff on my laptop. So you wanna make sure that when you're doing this uh, Wi-Fi MIDI connection that you disconnect it from here before you close your laptop or whatever, or, or take it off the network in any way. Uh, so it's just a little tip. But it's pretty easy to set up. I use it every single week. Uh, it's never failed me. Um, it's a pretty reliable system, so. Um, if you don't use the lighting and purpose on the same computer, that's going to be how you send that data from one to the other. Very simple, very intuitive on Mac, but um, that's how you do it.